Let's face it, musicians are hard to buy for. So in this video, I'm gonna give you 15 gift ideas for beginner musicians. Hello, Robert McClellan here, and I've been playing and teaching music now for over 20 years, as well as helping musicians put together home studios to accommodate their musical passions. So if you or someone you know is interested in making professional recordings in a less than professional space, then consider subscribing and or sharing this channel with others. First off, let me say that the products I'm recommending today are products that I have personally used from brands that I trust, and I have purposely chosen these affordable alternatives to the more expensive name brands because of the audience that I'm looking to serve. Now, you and I both know that a beginner may not always stick with it, so these are solid options that won't break the bank, even if that student decides to take another path. All right, let's take a look at some of our gift ideas and remember that this list is in no particular order. So number one is the Lakato Rechargeable Tuner. A guitar tuner is an affordable gift that can be an excellent accent to a stocking or even fit in a smaller gift box. This one is a great option due to not requiring a battery. The rechargeable lithium battery and ultra low power consumption as well as an auto power off function saves energy for maximum battery life. Now these smart features allow for over 10 hours of continuous use per charge. The high contrast LCD color display makes it perfect for low light situations and the strong flexible clip is perfect for finding the best viewing angle for either the student or the teacher. Coming in at number two on the list, the Van Gogh pedal board. For the guitarist or bassist that has the need for effects pedals, this board can hold up to a ton of abuse and fit nearly any usable combination of great sounding pedals. With a massive surface area, it has enough space to fit roughly 13 to 15 compact pedals. It also comes with a power supply mounting brackets suitable for most brands of power supplies and has built-in cable outlet holes to ensure neat wiring arrangement. The eight degree incline is also perfect for being able to see your pedals from a bird's eye view and doesn't cause pedal board fatigue if you were to leave your foot rested on the volume pedal for long periods of time. Now the accessories that come with this pedal board are also very well thought out. A waterproof Oxford cloth carrying case offers high standard protection for both the board and the pedals. It's heavy duty, well padded and lightweight. The padded handle and shoulder strap also allow for carrying to lessons or gigs with ease. And coming in at number three on the list is the Van Gogh Saddle Drum Throne. Now, most drummers would agree that a quality drum throne is essential in maintaining comfort when playing long sets. This drum throne will definitely cover that area. The padding on the throne is thick enough to provide comfort, yet durable enough to provide stability. You can also adjust the height of the stool to ensure a comfortable height for playing. With a 19 inch minimum height and a 25 inch maximum height, you're sure to find a comfortable playing position. And included with the drum throne are also even a pair of drumsticks. All right, and coming in at number four on the list is the Maono Microphone Isolation Shield. Using an isolation shield to record vocals, guitar amps, or bass amps can provide a more pleasant sound by reducing the interference of background noises. The audio can actually sound more defined and require less work in post, which is less of a headache for the mix engineer. Now this particular shield is made of premium aluminum alloy and is lined with high quality acoustic foam insulation. And this product can also be fixed on a camera tripod stand or mounted to a microphone stand. It comes with all the mounting hardware that's needed for an easy setup. And coming in at number five on the list is the Tonor T20 Microphone Boom Arm. Whether your musician is into streaming, gaming, podcasting, or just needs a great solution for mic placement, this microphone suspension boom arm is an awesome value. Not only will it hold heavier mics like the Shure SM7B, but it also remains fully articulate and easily adjusted without losing its original position. Made of durable steel with a max load capacity of four pounds, it can hold nearly any mic on the market firmly in place. The T20 comes with a standard 3 8 to 5 8 adapter for different shock mounts and microphones, as well as a pop filter, a windscreen, and some pretty handy Velcro cable ties to keep things tidy. Coming in at number six on the list, the Maono USB microphone. Now, more of a podcasting style microphone, this little kit sounds amazing and looks very stylish. Although the mic cannot seem to handle high volume levels, it does shine on spoken word and dialogue. The microphone has a USB data port, which makes it easy to connect with computers. There's no need to download extra drivers or software, and no need for even an external sound card. You can simply select USB mic as your default input within your software settings, and you're good to go. The arm stand and shock mount are both made of high quality metal, and they have a very stylish look. 
So I would definitely recommend this for anyone who's wanting to get into gaming, podcasting, spoken word, or even voiceover. Coming in at number seven on the list is the Lakato 3-in-1 Guitar Tuner. Now, although I've already included a tuner on this list, this tuner has some extra bells and whistles that most tuners don't have. For instance, this is a three-in-one tool that combines a tuner, a metronome, and a tone generator all in one. The small footprint and the high visibility LCD screen make it perfect for your gig or practice, and the auto power off function makes it a huge value. The device will turn off automatically if there's no signal present or button usage in a five minute time frame, and each shutdown actually automatically saves the current perimeters as well. And coming in at number eight on the list is the Muki Portable Karaoke System. Now, much more than just a karaoke machine, this powerhouse of a system can play backing tracks, radio, it syncs with Bluetooth, and it also supports micro SD as well as flashcard USB connectivity. It's loud enough to be heard well, and it holds a charge for a long time. Likewise, the bass response is amazing, and although I haven't tried it, I'm almost positive that it would even sound great if you were to run a keyboard or bass guitar through it. In fact, I've even played my guitar through it with good results. If you want an amazing portable jam station, this thing has definitely got you covered. Coming in at number nine on the list are the Dunlop Tortex Jazz 3 picks. Now, after switching to these picks nearly a year ago, I will not go back. These things are great for guitar or bass, and once you've held one of these in your fingers for a while, it's really hard to imagine going back to the older style of clunky picks of yesteryear. I realize that this may be one of the few name brands that I've included on this list, but with their affordability, I believe it's a great deal nonetheless. And coming in at number 10 on the list, it's no secret that I'm a huge fan of Elixir brand strings, and with good reason. Aside from retaining great tone, they seemingly last forever. On top of that, they're extremely easy on the fingers, and that's why more than anything, I recommend them to anyone who is just learning to play a stringed instrument. They offer a wide variety of string gauges, including custom sets, and they cover everything from acoustic, electric, bass, and even banjo players. Now, I realize that this is yet again another name brand and that these strings actually cost more than other strings on the market. However, these strings will pay for themselves with one set of strings outlasting nearly four to five sets of strings from other brands. Okay, coming in at number 11 on the list is the Best Sounds Guitar Strap. It goes without saying that instruments can be quite expensive, yet even more than the cost associated with them, there is usually a sentimental value that's attached to most instruments as well. So why would anyone think of entrusting that family heirloom to a flimsy strap? That's why I have included this affordable alternative that has real leather woven into the ends and it still looks stylish as well. Okay, coming in at number 12 on the list is the Donner DS3 wooden guitar stand. When a guitar player or a bassist sets their instrument down, they need a safe place to rest it that isn't going to scratch the finish. Not only will a guitar stand provide a means of upright storage, but I always encourage beginners to use these to keep the instrument front of mind. If the new player sees the instrument every morning when they wake up or before they go to bed, it will improve their willingness to practice. And coming in at number 13 on the list, which you can actually see hanging on the wall behind me, is the String Swing Wall Mount Instrument Bracket. Now, not everyone likes to set their instrument within eye level of a toddler, so the next best option to keep those instruments readily available and still functioning properly is a wall mount. I personally prefer this method as it saves floor space and provides a bit of diffusion here in my home studio. All right, and coming in at number 14 on the list is the Donner Sheet Music Stand. One purchase I always recommend to a beginner is a good solid music stand to hold their notes, lyrics, or sheet music. This set not only comes with a rock solid affordable option for doing just that, but it also includes some much needed extras at a fraction of the price of other stands that don't have these accessories. Okay, and last but certainly not least, coming in at number 15 on the list is the Hosa Brand Instrument Cable. Now, ever since I first started as a musician, I have always used Hosa Brand cables. Why? Because they're affordable, durable, and they provide an excellent customer support. When you need a cable, but you don't want to buy into the hype of other prosumer brands such as Mogami and Canary, then this is your go-to cable. Now, furthermore, I know that I've included yet a third name brand, but this brand is so affordable that it just had to be thrown into the bunch. All right, guys, that's it. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave me a thumbs up or at least a comment down below and let me know about that. 
If you have a question about any of the products that we've covered here today, drop a comment down below as well. I answer every single comment. And by the way, if you're just learning or buying for someone else who is learning, remember to either stay encouraged yourself or be encouraging to the new student because learning an instrument isn't easy, but the rewards are well worth the cost.